All in the matter of what your dog said now, Make your now, own now. bed When you're so rest You will be blessed Having sweet dreams Never feeling no stress Feeling no raps What's good, y'all? My name's Flimlo Raps, and today I want to talk about why I believe that NBA 2K16 will come up short, way short of the actual expectations. Now, this year, one of the main draws to NBA 2K16 is Pro Am mode. And if you've been a fan of the series for a while, you remember crew mode. And Pro Am mode is a lot like crew mode. It's not crew mode, but it's very similar and it's taking a lot of things that people love from that mode that old mode and you know putting them into a new mode and also adding in some cool features extra customization features the leaderboards and everything and you know it's looking really good but right as i was kind of getting sucked into that trailer and being like damn i can't wait to get 2k i thought about the reason i don't play my current 2k <laughs> and that's because the lag is terrible online man i don't know what's going on with 2k servers or server or half a server or whatever it is that they have but it's something that they really haven't addressed um in the last three four years it, it hadn't gotten any better as far as the online experience for the majority of players i mean it's not uncommon to not be able to play 2k for a full day like any mode because everything's attached to the servers even your regular offline my career mode due to the vc unless you want to change it completely it's something that they haven't fixed and i'm not sure why but i do know that pro am mode will fail if the servers are not adjusted we have the same issues um with me trying to get four of my friends into a damn lobby create that guy we all try to get in the lobby this shit takes like an hour just for everything to connect and for us to find another team and then the second we get in what's gonna happen somebody gonna get kicked out at least one person probably several you know and it's gonna completely ruin the experience i mean this has been my experience in nba 2k for a very long time the reason i think that they haven't addressed this is sadly i believe 2k is adopting the activision business model instead of actually you know trying to market the product and fix the product for the actual consumers or the old school consumers i should say that they have a new customer the investors they spend all of their money on marketing advertising and things like that because they need to please the investors because they're getting this money up front and they're not so much worried about our gaming experience they just want us to buy the damn game which is why you stick Spike Lee on the cover. Oh, brand new, you got Spike Lee, you know, you throw millions at him, but you haven't adjusted the server. And it's because the core gameplay really isn't your concern anymore. And that's unfortunate, man, because I mean, I've been playing 2K since 2K7, right? I had 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and unfortunately 15 as well, even though I played that bitch for like three weeks. And I really haven't played it again until now, which is why you see my dude out there in all brown <laughs> at like a 60 overall and I suck. It's unfortunate, man. And I believe that that's the way that the gaming industry as a whole is going. And 2K is right along with them. We're in a scary place, y'all, because our savior or the only person that I believe can save us at this point is EA. <laughs> And this is sad day in hell when you got to try to rely on EA. I mean, just to, I don't know, maybe give 2K that kick in the ass that they need, you know, some competition so that they will begin once again to improve their game year to year, just like they used to do. Instead of just giving us an old busted car where the AC doesn't work, and instead of them fixing the damn AC, they just put some rims on that bitch and paint it and wash it boom there you go um I, I liken it to uh i likened it to activision earlier and it reminds me a lot of call of duty man and let me say this since i don't play 2k anymore <laughs> call of duty is my most played game but they do some fucked up shit 
but they do a lot of things right the issue to me is because 2k is becoming an online multiplayer game primarily you know for a lot of players you think that the servers would be a priority but they're not i mean you market the game and sell the game as an online multiplayer game but you have crap servers on a consistent basis like how does that work you know that's fucking criminal and it's false advertisement before you give me any more news about spike lee or the my player story mode or any of that shit or the graphics or the fucking tattoos on the players or fucking facial hair of one of the players like i don't give a fuck man fix the server you know i dare you i challenge you guys to look at any NBA 2K16 wish list. And what will you find number one? Servers, lag, servers, input lag. It's the first thing, dude. Fix the online experience, please. Speaking of the online experience, I will address one other topic. Imagine if you went out, you bought Call of Duty, and the first night you jump online and half of the people in your lobby are prestige masters. Why is that? Well, it's because Call of Duty is now offering, this isn't true, y'all, by the way, this is just a fucking, hypothetical situation uh call of duty is now offering the ability to purchase experience essentially so you can buy all the guns with real money buy all the attachments and buy rank right so it completely ruins the experience of actually having to play the game to build up to get to that point i would like to do the same thing in nba you know my part my career all of these online modes with the my players essentially where I'm building up my guy. That's one of the main reasons. That's one of the biggest draws for me personally. And I know a lot of people out. It ruins the experience when I get online. And as skilled as I may be with my 70 overall guy, somebody has bought, you know, he's paid to have an all 99 overall guy. He's got all 99s on his team. And we get thrashed just because they're fast as hell and they can't miss and they're dunking on us and <laughs> ripping us and shit. You know, not even having to learn to play the game, but just souping up their guys immediately and, you know, running through everything. 2K doesn't address this or they actually cater to those guys because, fuck, those guys spend more money. I mean, it's easy math right if i bought the game for 60 bucks and he bought the game for 60 bucks but he paid another 60 bucks to soup up his player who's the more valued customer the cat who paid 120 and while from a business standpoint i do understand that i mean it's kind of hard to not understand it it's very simple but it's one of those issues with the gaming community man that has uh has begun to take over with all the dlc and the, the microtransactions it's turning into a fucking giant evil corporation and it's really fucking up the game experience for a lot of people uh including myself i don't have a practical solution but i'm actually working on one and i'll probably be dropping another video with that solution but as of now man it's just food for thought don't forget to rate hit me up film no raps out.